The lower the capacitance of the membrane, the better the measurement. Dr. Ivor Gaver is a man of many career turns, with accomplishments as an engineer, a scientist, and a business person. He is a professor emeritus at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Ivor Gaver is also a winner of the Nobel Prize. Gaver studied mechanical engineering in Norway, where he was born. He served in the army and then worked as a patent examiner. Ivor and his wife, Inger, were high school sweethearts. After they married, they moved to Canada, in large part to escape a severe housing shortage. In Toronto, Gaver took a job with General Electric and started the company's famous three-year course for in-house engineers. Then Gaver emigrated again to work at GE's corporate R&D center in Schenectady, New York. Gaver learned from prominent mathematicians and physicists, as well as engineers, while also earning a PhD from RPI. In 1960, Gaver investigated a quantum phenomenon in superconductors called tunneling. Tunneling is when electrons jump across gaps and even across insulators from one conductor to another. Using laboratory processes he developed, Gaver verified a prediction about tunneling in superconductors that followed from a recent theory. It was work that would, many years later, lead to a shared Nobel Prize in physics. Also at GE, Gaver started work in bioengineering investigating the behavior of proteins on metal films. To pursue this work more deeply, Gaver turned to academia, joining the faculty at RPI. Then, in 1991, Gaver started a company, Applied Biophysics, to commercialize an instrument he and a former colleague at GE had co-invented. It is an instrument that measures changes in impedance to study cell growth in tissue cultures. The device and other applied biophysics instruments are used in academic and pharmaceutical research labs around the world. Gaver has always enjoyed the outdoors, and he does not believe there has been significant climate change in recent years, a view that sets him apart from many other scientists. Gaver has credited his success with being curious, competitive, creative, stubborn, self-confident, patient, and lucky. For his innovative and important experimental work in superconductor tunneling, and for his development of new scientific instruments, ASME awards Dr. Ivor Gaver the Nancy Deloy Fitzroy and Roland V. Fitzroy Medal.